Night fam, I'm about to tell you a crazy story about one of the world's biggest brands that is incredibly cursed. We are talking about Pepsi and a tragic story that involves 32 billion dollars and 5 deaths. It all happened in the Philippines. But first, let me take you back to how it all started. Most people know that Pepsi always had this battle against Coca-Cola. But Pepsi always seemed to be the loser. Like going bankrupt, investing tens of millions of dollars on failed products, with even celebrity endorsers getting the same bad luck. Coca-Cola always won the battles, but Pepsi never gave up. They tried all sorts of marketing stunts to beat Coke. Until one day came the number fever in 1992, where every night those who bought Pepsi could win cash prizes, starting from some small money all the way to 1 million pesos. All they had to do was collect the Pepsi bottle caps with numbers inside and wait for the live announcement on TV of the winning three digit number between 1 to 999. Pepsi had full control of what numbers would appear under the cups and on TV so that every night only two people would become millionaires. A computer program the company used made sure that only the winning number would be generated live. The number fever became extremely successful. Pepsi's sales finally went from 10 million to 14 million a month. For the first time ever, Pepsi finally thought they can overtake Coca-Cola. Until one night. Instead of showing the pre-selected winning number of 134, Pepsi by mistake showed 349. Which was printed on more than 600,000 Pepsi bottle cups. So the hundreds of thousands of people who were watching with the number 349 in their cups all thought they just won a lot of money. Hundreds of thousands of incredibly hopeful people about to be a part of a huge Pepsi curse. And you're about to learn exactly what happened next. Soon after, thousands of Filipinos all over the country rushed to claim their prize. They didn't even wonder why there were so many of them. All they knew was that they were about to be millionaires. And this is where the company realized a giant error that happened. The Pepsi executives held a meeting to find a solution to this billions big problem. First, they had to inform newspapers to print the correct winning number 134. Then Pepsi publicly blamed the computer glitch for the error and offered the cap holders some small money as compensation. I mean, can you imagine the disappointment these winners felt? For one night, they thought they are rich. And so the winners were, of course, angry. Pepsi had to honor their promise despite the mistake. But of course it was financially impossible for the company to pay all of them. But to many of the winners it didn't matter. The anger turned to protests. Many protests became riots. People destroyed properties in anger. It was violent. And this is where the biggest part of the Pepsi curse happened. Pepsi executives received death threats. Pepsi tracks were destroyed, stoned or burned. Many people ended up injured. And worst of all, it got so violent that at least five people died from homemade bombs thrown at Pepsi properties. All because of Pepsi. To top it all off, this began a new scandal. Some people believed that the bombings were orchestrated by Pepsi itself. Three men claimed that they were paid by the company to stage the attacks to paint the protesters as terrorists. Whether or not it really was Pepsi that turned the protests into deadly riots, the violence and deaths held the company back. 
and Pepsi was once again in the depths of its curse, more than ever losing against their competitor, Coca-Cola. It is truly fascinating how one simple mistake can impact thousands and even take away five lives. Perhaps some will see this as a story of bad luck, a story of a huge brand suffering a curse that it might carry forever. But for me, I see this as a story of bad decisions bringing bad results. And so, Night Fam, we hope this serves as a reminder for you to always think about the impact of your every choice.